puso pa rin the Tax City High. Welcome back, learners! I am very excited to bring you today's lesson. So, set your mind, ready your heart, and brace yourselves, for we will take a journey to discover the week 2 of 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Most Essential Learning Competencies in Focus Writing a close analysis and critical interpretation of literary texts and doing an adaptation of these require from the learner the ability to identify 1. The representative texts and authors from each region Engage in oral history Research with focus on key personalities from the student's region, province, and town At the end of this module, you should be able to 1. Study and appreciate notable authors and representative texts from the different regions and read and analyze the persona and tone of a representative poem in Region 8. Our country has approximately a total of 182 living languages. With these languages, our ancestors communicated, built their communities, and created unique cultural products. And due to colonization, many of our ancestors have used literature as front towards achieving unity despite the division. With these, Filipinos today must consciously choose to maintain a united front in order for all of us to be truly equal and free as a people in one nation. 21st century technology can help propel this goal into something obtainable. With the help of the internet, many contemporary authors from the regions are publishing their work online, whether they are using the regional language, Filipino, or English. These young authors are beginning to speak a national audience about their reality. Some 21st century literature of the Philippines can be found in blogs, online newspapers, online magazines, online journals, and etc. Also, a good number of performances of songs, skits, and amateur films showcasing original works can be found in video sharing sites like YouTube. The table presents the current regional division of the Philippines and examples of 21st century Filipino authors associated with each region are listed. The writer's association with the region is established in two ways. It is the writer's birthplace or the writer settled in that region. Be reminded that the names of the writers here, just a few of 21st Filipino writers. And our new writers are still waiting to have their works be published. Tone is the attitude of the poet or the persona or the speaker in the poem. The tone of the voice varies according to the emotional state of the speaker. In order to identify tone in poetry, one should be sensitive to the inner state of the speaker. The usual themes in poetry are love, death, brotherhood, inhumanity, loneliness, and joy. What the reader feels is known as the mood. On the other hand, persona refers to the voice a writer creates to tell a story or to define the speaker in the poem. Sometimes, the writer may share real-life experience or feelings in autobiographical writing, or he may write a detached observer, keeping a distance from the events in the poem, or an imaginary character. Example of Tone Batter my heart holy sonnet 14 Batter my heart, 
three-personed God, for you. As yet but knock, breathe, shine, and seek to mend. That I may rise, and stand, overthrow me, and bend. Your force, to break, blow, burn, and make me new. I, like an usurped town, to another do. Labor to admit you, but oh, to no end. Reason, your viceroy in me, me should defend. But is captived, and proves weak or untrue. Yet dearly I love you, and would be loved fain. But him betrothed unto your enemy. Divorce me, untie, or break that knot again. Take me to you, imprison me, for I. Except you enthrall me, never shall be free. Nor ever chaste, except you ravish me. Examples of Mood Example number 1, Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens creates a calm and peaceful mood in his novel Pickwick Papers, The River, reflecting the clear blue of the sky, glistened and sparkled as it flowed noiselessly on. Example number 2, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. For instance, Robert Frost, in his poem The Road Not Taken, creates a gloomy feeling through his tone. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Example of Persona The Love Song of J. Alfred Prefrick by T. S. Eliot Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go, through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats. Of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels. And sawdust restaurants with oyster shells. Streets that follow like a tedious argument. Of insidious intent. To lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask, what is it? Let us go and make our visit. In the room the women come and go. Talking of Michelangelo. Thank you for listening, I'm Teacher Arvin. Defying limits, upholding excellence, and reminding you, to always bear, the Tatak City High Spirit.